At this point in the shiny hunt, we are in the post game of Colosseum, meaning that I've got some stuff in here. Note the Jirachi. When the videos come out surrounding the shiny hunt and like the most decorated quags are impossible, I'm gonna be I'm going to be uh, uh, dividing these up the videos up by essentially generation. Probably gonna make the shiny hunting one its own video. The Jirachi. Let's talk about the Jirachi. Um, I have been playing Pokemon Ruby up until you get the Pokedex, transferring in a Wishmaker Jirachi from the Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc, which as you can see there, special gift Jirachi. It is uh, what is referred to as the Wishmaker Jirachi. I'm going to be doing this and transferring as many Jirachi as possible up to Gen 9 before this video comes out. And when it comes out, I'm gonna be doing giveaways for the Jirachi. There'll be a ton of them. I'm basically going to flood the market with Wishmaker Jirachi, which will become, which will essentially be an extinct breed in modern Pokemon. Each video, each video will basically have like a comment requirement being like comment below so, uh, to enter to to get the uh, to get the uh, uh, to get a Wishmaker Jirachi. I've already transferred six up, and I plan on you know I plan on doing more. It is a long and laborious process, and I don't have a second GBA and a link cable, so I've had. But fortunately, I've got a GBA. If I could pull it up here. Fortunately, I do have a. Uh, GBA to uh, to GameCube cable, so I have to so in order to get them like into the game where I want them to transfer up I've got to trade them into Colosseum and then out into Emerald and then from Emerald into Diamond What makes Wishmaker Jirachi uh, different from a regular Jirachi and just the uh, original trainer is Wishmaker That's really the only difference The other thing too is that the the uh, the Wishmaker Jirachi was kind of necessary? Not really necessary, but it sped up a process. The Wishmaker Jirachi could come holding one of two berries: the Salic Berry or or the Ganlon Berry. And since I'm having going up with multiple of them, uh, I can get those. And those are going to be necessary for the Poke Blocks that I make for uh, for the most decorated Quagsire. Huh. <laughs> Uh, Flinkos saying this is my first stream. Welcome. And then, uh, oh man. But yeah, no, because uh, because um, Wishmaker Jirachi will essentially be more or less an endangered species going in going forward with Pokemon Bank shutting down. I want to get as many of them into Pokemon Home as possible. Uh, the other thing too that came with me uh, having uh, the uh, the what is it? The other thing that came with me getting into the post game Coliseum is being able to train trade in Pokemon that can actually do something in uh, in, in regards to hunting this uh, this Quagsire, such as Shroomhilda, who knows Spore, and Slizzard, who knows False Swipe. That'll hopefully make this go a lot faster. I forgot to trade in the ball I wanted to use. Oh well. I don't I think I'm gonna get it within the next like two hours here. So whatever. Bingo! Bank is shutting down. Yes, we don't know when, but it will at some point. Hero Cast Show, the 83 months of tier one, saying time for Tom Scream. Also, Godspeed, Tommy the Spinners, and Weber be in your favor. In indeed. Fuyuko Yuki with the 44 months of tier one. Random player 818 with the six months of tier one. And Multi Dreamer gifted a tier one sub to Rayan of Sunshine. Bingo! <laughs> Satsy saying, Matt has kidnapped nine Koroks and is taking them on a world Thank tour. Hi, this seems less chaotic. Think of the 27 months, Satsy. Tell a story, think of the five months of tier one saying, flooding the market with Mitch, wish maker Jirachi seems like an ecolo ecological nightmare. Neat. Pretty much it, it will shut down sometime after the 3DS online services shut down. They did not give an actual, they did not give a specific date or time. All they said is, uh, all, all they said is transfer everything up, you know, soon. Was there was there their uh, way of talking about it? I want to get him in a luxury ball.
I hope the service doesn't shut down tomorrow. No, it's gonna, Pokemon Bank is probably gonna shut down sometime after March of this year. Well, it's, it's definitely gonna shut down sometime after March of this year, but we just don't know when. Hi, Dival. Good to see you again, Dival. Speaking of which, let's get, let, let the music play! Oh, he's Jesus Christ, all fifty six. I'm not going to RNG man at this stream. I have not, like, I've not really looked into it. Wow, okay. I might need to train up the, uh, the Sceptile a bit more because, uh, that critical hit didn't do all of Quagsire's health. Stick with the Premier Ball for now. Did you ever get an Emerald card with a save battery? Yes. Yeah, the, Quag the Quagsire is, uh, is still 30 because Shadow Pokemon can't level up. That is the impetus behind that. Yeah, that's the problem with low, low resolution televisions. There is that it doesn't it doesn't look like what it is. All right. Well, he's using false swipe on the gold duck. Actually, if gold duck kills Breloom, oh, the, those aerial ace! Oh my god, I have the worst possible person out there. What ball that I mean to use? Luxury ball. I could transfer one in from Emerald. Nope. Oh, I. Uh, next time, remind me to uh, to get the stats of that Quagsire. I've also been making strides in preparing for uh, the most decorated Quagsire to be transferred up as well. So I, I think I've got almost all the berries I need for um, for uh, Pokeblock making. Um, and then I just have to... Yeah, I just have to, uh, to train up my uh, Battle Tower team and then that'll be ready. I think there's a couple other ribbons revolving around friendship and, and uh, EVs. Are you gonna handle going up ranked in Sword and Shield and uh, Scarlet and Violet? So the Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet um, ribbons for doing uh, getting a getting a Pokemon to Master Ball rank and and winning is um uh oh yeah yeah we got to do the uh, got to get the the poll going for the session. Will I get the Quagsire or prediction rather? Um, Sword and Shield, and Scarlet and Violet. Those those two ribbons are the same. If I get it in, uh, if I get it in Sword and Shield, if I don't get it in Sword and Shield, I can still get it in Scarlet and Violet. That one doesn't matter which game you get it in. Uh, in terms of its competitive viability, I am just going to do my best because all I got to do, all I have to do is, because I can use rental teams to get up to Master Ball rank and then just like make my own team for uh, for singles or doubles or whichever one I do, and then pray to God that I can make it up there. All right, Sh Shroomhilda. Oh, Shroomhilda. I'm getting really lucky on the critical hits here. Fortunately, the, the only issue would be if is if um is if uh, uh the Golduck crits. I'll probably try to raise up a. Uh, Room Hilda and Slizzard's levels. <laughs> I was really wondering about Slizzard's nickname because I, I was like, "This doesn't mean anything bad, right?" So I just like Googled it in Urban Dictionary. It's like, nah, it's not. It's not bad. There's still that moment where I was like, "This sounds cool, but could it also mean something really bad?" 
I love the name Shroomhilda, thank you. Well, that ain't right. Since I am faster than sound, I keep on jumping around. Blue Hedgehog Sonic. With incredible speed, I keep on moving my feet. I mean, that, that Meryl's level four, so. If it doesn't hit, I want that gold gone. Twitch app glitched and it showed Tom's stream on top of the other. Well, that happens to me uh, on the, on the, uh, the, the, uh, man, this thing does not want to stay in the ball. Um, that happened to me on the, um, desktop app where sometimes an ad will play, but instead of playing the ad, it'll show a picture in picture version of it above the chat. And then it'll show the normal stream in the same spot, and the ad will just be play the ad audio will be playing ov uh, over it. <laughs> yes, chat, I did just attack the Quagsire. If it doesn't get into this ball, it will die. Back now, suppers are running out. No, it didn't die. Uh, I use false swipe, which can't go below, uh, which can't go below one uh, HP. Jump it down. Jolt. Nope. I want. I just want to grab its stats. Mainly to make sure that I am getting rerolls on the, uh, on the, um, yeah, I want to make sure I'm getting rerolls, um, for its stats every time I fight. Cause like, I, I've been doing this so many times that I'm like afraid that I'm just gonna like, that, that I accidentally fought Dival once before. And if that's the case, that means I have to start a new file. Sure thing, battling fans are always welcome. Kurorisu Pachi with the 65 months of tier one. So much time consumed. I know I did I did like all of the um all of the uh the, the Coliseum challenges up before the final battle. And even then I still lost to Evis. The the what is it? The the difficulty incline at the end of this is like massive. Because imagine, like, imagine you're doing the Elite Four, and instead of going from Lorelei to Bruno, you went from Lorelei to Blue, like, in terms of the level gap. The difficulty spike is so high. Girlfriend played this game this year. She couldn't believe how steep the end was. She fully believed NASCAR was the end. Oh, man. How much is Dokapon on Switch? I imagine it's it's uh, probably 60. Hunting Ranger thinking of 25 months of tier one, saying that's a quarter of a century in months. I got a shiny on my least favorite Pokemon Masquerade. But I'm trying to think positively. So, uh, uh, such I think of the good things, like my book, which is almost done publishing. Hey, nice! What's going on, Emil? I highly doubt this ball's gonna take, considering how high Quagsire's health is right now. Damn it. 
there's the prediction. Working on my final episode needed background sound. Nice. I watched the uh, I watched the preview uh, the preview you put out. The gender is already different, so there's that. Okay, so I think that's uh, that's probably good. Give a round of applause to uh, to uh, Chugga Conroy, who has the most in-depth let's let's plays ever, where it's like not only they're entertaining, but they act as like a as, as a comprehensive guide. Damon and Katamaro with the 41 months of tier one saying Tom Scream, Tom Scream, Tom Scream, Tom Scream. It's $49.99. I think it's also available on Steam. There's a Switch version. I found out today there's a Steam version of Dokapon Kingdom Connect. Probably the most work to make of the Xenoblade. I imagine Xenoblade 2 was uh, was was rough. Ah uh, no Lyron! This gold looks gonna be the end of me. For some reason, I was like, yeah, no. Nope. Like that, nope. Uh, let's check them stats. Uh, these are different. Okay, so it is re-rolling. I want to... I want to share... Uh, I'm going to message you something real quick, Emil. I want to see if you're okay with sharing this. Joel's Okay, so I think I need to see if I can find the image. I, I think I have it on my phone. And if so, I'll send it to myself. But um Emil and I were talking about how he was potentially working on Xenoblade X as a Let's Play and just like all these different problems that came along with doing that. I could find the image. Actually, I'm not sure where the image is. It might take me a while to find it, so I'll I'll continue I'll, I'll I'll look for it while I continue to do this. Oh nope, nope, those are pictures of my roommate's dog. Good dog, by the way. I just thought it was really funny, so I screen grabbed it while we were uh, while we were talking. Oh, that's something about the. Oh, that's something. That's about the. Uh, I, I found. I was. I was looking at, at this like, like. Oh, is this it? Nope. This is um. Th this is me going on some weird tirade about how uh, how it's weird that a regulation football isn't a foot long. This is a while ago. We were, this must have been a while ago when we were talking about this. Just a very small blurb. I think I said something along the lines of like, that that probably came, comes with its own slew of problems. And then Emil responded to me saying, "Okay, so." And then there was like five minutes of Chugga Conroy is typing.
Didn't last as nearly as long as I thought. Maybe I don't have it on my phone. If I saved it on my computer, I have no idea where it is. Oh well, well, I, I at least shared the story. I thought it was on my phone, but still, I, that was just a funny story to me where it's just like... Just, just how many problems one game could have. Hey, Scrib! Scribberox, uh, first time chat. The, uh, person I'm gonna be playing, uh, Dokapon with in about an hour and a half, I think. Nope. Also, you guys have to see Scrib's, uh... Do you mind if I call you Scrib? Is that, is that good for, for short, or do you pr prefer rocks? Either way, you have to see their VTuber model. It is so cute. Is Xenoblade X broken on the Wii U with the eShop taken down? No, it's just that there was, um... Bingo! Go for it either way? Okay. There, uh, it's just that you can't download the, um... The... It's like a, it's like a graphics data that you install into an external hard drive, which helps the game load faster. Oh, is Raven here too? Raven! Bingo! Jet the Gem Journal gifting us here on sub to Scribble Rocks. Thank you very much. What's up, Raven? After we after we had such a such a uh, an amazing get together over New Year's, are you ready for that friendship to end in about a, an hour and a half? Oh Lord. Dokapon Harker's idea? Nope, it was mine. I think False Swipe was introduced in Gen 2. The only reason I remember that is because the is that the uh, the Scizor Pokemon card had False Swipe as a as a move on it. Or one of the Pokemon cards for Scizor. I think it was in the first set that Scizor was available in. it off with false swipe yeah I you know I didn't really think about it from the anime perspective I was thinking of the um, I was thinking more of the the Pokemon card but I guess I guess false swipe is inextricably linked to uh, to um, scissor in that case That was that one dude who kept using nope. a computer, who like, used, yeah, used a computer to uh, to determine like battle tactics, right? I think I remember that episode. Cause that was like a big, I think it was a big Heracross, um, like a Heracross character development episode. Bingo! Devil's Log, January 9th, 2024, he's returned still in my Quagsire. Been over 250 times. No, it hasn't been over. Remember, this every single time it's a new it's a new universe. CG47 with the 87 months of tier one, tier two set. Yeah, Devil's Log, January 9th, 2024. He's returned, stealing my Quagsires. He's taken over 250 of them. I don't know what to say at this point. He only has one Quagsire across multiple timelines. You tell him about it, his nose is gonna bleed. Mystic Fire 824 with the 13 months of tier one saying, How goes the shiny hunt? Still haven't got the Quagsire yet? Well, I'll let the engineer tell you. Nope. You watched the newest Soundsmith video? Was it the one where it was it the one where he uh was it the one where he introduced it as a uh, with him having laryngitis? It was MVM shenanigans, right? Or are you talking about the uh, the um, man's guide to the uh, the huntsman? Bingo! Yeah, because he put out he put out another video where he's like, "Hey, I've got laryngitis," but this video we've had in the back burner for a while. I don't remember much from it. I usually listen to those in the background. Rising Sun 98 with the 25 months of tier one saying hello. Hello there. 
I'm still in shock that he made two man's guides, like, back-to-back -back like that. Video production is not easy, especially when you have, like, interspersed animated bits to it. I did like the bit, though, during the, uh, I, th I think it was the Huntsman video, where, uh... Like, it cut to Lazy Purple editing the, the, uh, How It Feels to Play Medic video. Or the script, where all he has written is the word, THE. What is the Smash 64 remix It rules? It's, um... Super Smash Bros. Character Select Extended Version, ripped by, uh, Silva Gunner. Um, it's a half hour long, so I don't gotta think about music for a while. Yeah, it is a very- it is a Spongebob bit. Nope. NB Walsh, thank you for the 64 months tier one, saying good evening, Tom. Best of luck locating the elusive pink salamander. I'm gonna give myself a deadline on this. I'm gonna try to do more of the shiny hunts while I'm away. Uh, probably in the three days I'm back home in Connecticut. What was the Markiplier.tf bit? Post tomorrow to give you some luck. Oh, dude, let's see. <laughs> oh yeah, you did. Ah, that's, I forgot that's how you drew. Um, that's how you drew drew me as Wes. This is definitely going to be significantly more hype than when I did that pack opening and pulled that like ungodly rare dark magician card from it. I'm running to, to die vault. Here you go. Why are you being so stubborn? <laughs> Jax will saying, Tom Fox still at, at it. Hopefully you can acquire the shiny Zyre. I love that. I love that coat. <laughs> this also implies that this universe's team snag and made their snag machine orange. Corn Silver with the 17 months of tier one saying, good luck on the shiny, on the hunt, Tom. I'm back to shiny hunting in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Just one last Ultra Beast to go. Nice. If I could will a shiny hunt water ground sandwich to you through code, I would. Oh my goodness. I knew what I was getting into. At some point, I might have to. I, I might switch over to uh, to RNG manipulation, but I don't know. I, I feel like my deadline for that'll be the end of January. I'll start seriously looking into it more. If one of these crits from Hilda, then you know, game over. Paralysis is good though. Yo, congratulations, Wibby. What was the what was the shiny you caught? The, what was it, the Dark Magician card that I pulled, it was a reference to the original Bandai art, uh, when they were the ones putting out the cards. Um, it's him, like, I think it's, like, it has some, like, weird for, short, for, uh, foreshortening with the staff, I think. What did we get? Ooh, the shiny! Ooh, that's good. That's real good. Did you hunt for that, or did you, uh, or did it just happen randomly? Wish you hunting your uh, look on your shiny hunt. Thank you very much. Oh, you reset for good lord! I was tempted to do that for the one in um in uh emerald because I needed that beldum for. The uh, battle tower. Bye, Shroomhilda. <sighs> Dark Quagician attack attacks your life points directly. Dark Quagic attack. Quag. <laughs> Use up all my patience for Beldum. It's much easier to shiny hunt uh, these days, I tell you what. Mm 
need like a sort of Goku share your energy with me emote. Damn, this is a stubborn Quagsire. Looks like I can't put it back to sleep either, so there's a small chance it'll wake up you shadow rushing off itself. And faint. Oh god! Oh good, it used the Dark Descent. If only- What are the odds that this Golduck would know Aerial Ace? Like Legends Arceus trying to solve a theory about max height, trying- not, not trying to get a shiny. I got three shiny Hisu and Growlithe, one of them being Alpha. Yee. 100% says Gummy Gamer. Good lord. Bingo! Nin Muffin, thank you for the 12 months of Tier 1. Most appreciated. Wait, did I do that right? Premier Ball. I just gotta get rid of this gold duck, my dude. Fairly high since a water type and aerial ace covers grass type? Okay, okay, I I get it! Please don't use Shadow Rush! I remember where Shiny Hunt was Hone Edge, did the boss method an X of my Ruby and Sword over the course of seven years, and I finally got it. Then transferred to the wrong profile on new switch and lost it again. Haven't tried to reclaim it since. Good lord, man! Oh, for God's sake, I gotta go through Meryl leveling up 80 times. Meryl? I did it this way to be shorter! I gotta figure out different Pokemon in this party. Oh god. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones! Modern Stone Age family! From the town of Bedrock, they're a page right out of history. No! If only the uh, the super effective reduction moves or uh, items were in this game. Give the flying berry to uh to um to Br uh, Shroom Hilda. Probably the first. I think it's the first time I've had one knock itself out. But it's also this has also been the first run I've done where I've you know successfully gotten it down to one HP. I think this, I think I traded, I must have traded the Salamence in because it's not available in Coliseum. Give me stuff that resists water! Watch this thing have Ice Beam. You know what, why not? I'll bring the Tyranitar in too. Is there a Zelda game you might do a playthrough of this year? I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing a vanilla run of Ocarina of Time. It's been forever since I played that game vanilla. Probably did it as a pre-recorded Let's Play. One of the games I've really wanted to try tackling 100% Let's Playing is Sonic Adventure 2, which is gonna require a lot of going through levels over and over again. However, it means that I'll probably actually be able to raise a chow properly! Number one. I forgot to save after I got the Pokemon out. I'm gonna have to do that again. Boom, 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 boom. Ba 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 da ba. Ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba. I wonder if the yawn method is better than what I'm doing here, or like the the method I was using before. Although it's not, because the stupid gold duck is so high level now, and it knows aerial ace, so um uh jump level just get killed immediately. Do, do, 
skating at the skate park down by the mall. But my mom says I gotta prevent hostile aliens from annihilating us all. Nope. I've got to finish it with false swipe. That's the issue. There were no crit enhancing moves in Gen 3, were there? Smoke every day. Smoke weed every day. I mean, crit, crit I'm sorry, crit enhancing items. Not moves, items. Can you only tell if it's shiny after you catch it? Yep. Also, I don't think, uh... Oh, scope lens did exist. Well, I'm gonna have to look into that one next time then. I don't want to waste a turn on a dire hit, which is why I wanted the, uh... I didn't want to waste a turn on focus energy, either. I did save, right? Maintain resist sli uh, slash slurps up hydro pump, but I can't learn false sli swipe or spore. The idea is I'm trying to get this into the best catching position possible before I chuck a, chuck a premier ball at it. Shoulder's been killing me. Well, it, it, it hasn't really been killing me, but like, if I put it in certain positions, it hurts. There's also a shoulder that like, that's like, if I just like stand like, at, like in a relaxed position, my right shoulder is like lower than my left shoulder. The world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Something kinda dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape. Oh yeah, short sure, training a. Oh, that's that's a good point, Toasty. I could have trained a uh, Smeargle to have Spore. I don't even know if I have a Smeargle anywhere. Why do I always do that first? Should see a chiropractor for that. Was one of this game? I'm pretty sure I missed it when I was, uh... Because I was just trying to beat the game. I wasn't really going for, uh, for, um... Shadow Pokemon. So I just, like, plowed through all of them. So I'd have to go to the Snagum High and have to start finding those again. Oh, it is post-game only. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done... I haven't done the Smeargle yet, then. I got one somewhere. Amidst the... Amidst, like, the... The slew of... Of childhood games... And, like, the ones I picked up pre-owned. One of them probably has a Smeargle. Goodbye, Stromhilda. Send it in T-Tar. How do you like that? Your flying moves won't- This is what I used my Master Ball on, uh, by the way, was the T-Tar. I didn't want- Like, I was having so much trouble with Evis, I did not want to have to, like, fight it as well. Oh yeah, the Smeargle owned by Biden. Hi, Shauna! That was well, how about you? Smeargle's only in the Battle Frontier in Emerald? I don't, I don't know. Oh, I, yeah, I want to get rid of that Golduck. <laughs> I'm gonna win this fight before- I should- I should just honestly just keep using, um, come on. Come on. Oh, thank goodness. Tink, 
tang, walla walla bing bang, hoo hee hoo ah ah, ting 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 ting, ah ah, ting tang, walla walla bing bang, hoo hee hoo ah ah, ting ting walla bing bang too. Look what Scarlet and Violet literally looks as quality. No, it does not. Don't kid yourself. This game has an improvement over it. Nope. In the fact that it runs at 60 FPS. And isn't a glitchy mess, but, but Scarlet and Violet do look better than this. Today the day you manifest the pink fella? I hope so. Remember something that I said when I heard the character's name was who calls their kids who calls their kids Guzma? Yizma? Dragon Maid! Just messing. All good. I'm not above debating on it because it is it is a legitimate thing that like people say where it's like, damn, this look this this be out here looking like a PlayStation 2 game. No, it looks like a Wii game at worst. Maybe Fred will win the fight, then the cat will stay up for the night when you're. The Flintstones. Have a good time. Have a gay old time! Yeah! Let's do this again. <laughs> I have my. Hey, you know what? I'm actually playing this on a Wii, so it worked out. Hi! You gonna spend your Wii points on a on a bait bag? Oh, what are we buying? We're buying a Hoi pair. Thank you. Jet the gym drill saying Pokemon Battle Revolution looks beautiful for its hardware. I don't know if uh, Sword and Shield is better or not. I mean, like some some of the uh, the um, Bingo! Pooja, what's it? Uh, some of the models they they didn't really update from uh, from Pokemon Stadium in uh, in uh, in uh, in Battle Revolution. Yeah, the optimization is really the issue. Optimization, I'd say environmental stuff is, uh, is uh, could use some work. The animations do have a lot of personality, yeah. That was also back when they were working with like half the roster that we have now, like less than half the roster we have now. Which in all honesty was probably the reason for for Dexit in the first place, just so they could focus on specific species of Pokemon. Will ya? Uh, Super Baby Mario with the six months of tier one saying buy something, will ya? Stone Steel giving three months of tier one to Sir Toasty. I think I got every, everything here. I should really start like checking off the uh, what I've actually like said. Did I catch it? Is it dead? Is Butterbean okay?
Nope. Well, when do we get the meds? I'm in post-game Coliseum now. So I've been playing, uh, I've been playing Coliseum in my spare time so that way I can get to the end. Because you can only transfer Pokemon out of Coliseum if you've beaten the, uh, the main story. So, uh, so I traded a Salamence in. Same with the, uh, with the, the, uh, Sceptile and the Breloom. The dive ball shouldn't work in this game, but specifically in Fenex City it does because they coded it as underwater for nature power. That's wild! Fenex City is the water town, yeah, but it's not underwater. Let's go ahead and spoil the Quagsire. Full swipe the Quagsire. How Tom doing? Kill me. At some point, Aerial Ace is going to crit. If I should preempt the nope. You're ugly. Nope. God. <laughs> what was that meme called? Desk engineer? You're ugly. And then, like, a bass boosted version of Il Vento Doro would play. Break of my own shiny hunting heart gold soul silver. Tiny desk engineer. Well, heavy watches in fear. Oh my god. Maybe it was a variant on desk engineer because he used like the same dance that tiny desk engineer did. I don't know if that was the one with the swole engineer though. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Heavy is dead. Engineer, you are so mean! Uh. Hunter Mr. Uh, Jet the Gem General saying, Quagsire, should I be awake? Should I be awake for this? Brelum, <laughs> no. Well, but since you are, could you have this palm of spores for me? The heavy is dead. <laughs> I like the, uh... Because of the part where the, where the, the, the spy... In a very comedic fashion, uh, like, does like a backflip while with a with a rope around his neck. Uh, it was demonetized on YouTube for that. He made a he made a uh, uh, a monetiz monetization safe version where he's about to do it and then a train comes in with the YouTube logo on it and runs him over. <laughs> Cause you're fat, boy. And another thing, you're ugly. Start chucking balls. Chuck a ball. Confused, but what is Dexit? It's the first time I've seen that. So, 
around the time Sword and Shoe was coming out, Brexit was happening, which was the uh, the UK separation from uh, the European European Union. And around the same time was Sword and Shield's development, which took place in England, in a, a, a country inspired by England, a region inspired by England, and would not include, would be the first generation of Pokemon to not include every single Pokemon, like, to be available at some point. Dokapon for the win! I have no idea what currency that is, but Spirit of Waltro, thank you for the 500 of it. What's DKK? Help me! <laughs> How did two people say the same thing? Danish crown, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I can't throw a ball at the, at the gold duck. Nope. Yeah, I know. I knew someone was gonna. The second I saw somebody type in Danish Kroner, I knew someone was gonna type it as Danish Kromer with the Spamton emote. Holy Kungadero! C -c -c Chris! I feel incredible! <laughs> One of my favorite things in the uh, in the the Spamton fight is the um, when he picks up the phone and you're like the first time he's like what? It, it's for you, and like the the Pippus eggs come out, and then and later in the battle it goes what? It's for me, and then gets blasted with the Pippus eggs. You want it? Mm, you got it. Tell them to come back when they're a little richer. Oil, bombs, rope. Ooh, we got a crit. We're getting really lucky with the crits on false swipe. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, the <laughs> Alex did such a good job with that. That's been making its rounds again lately. You fuckers kept drawing me with my penis out, so I'm erasing the internet! Do Disco Descent next. I love that song. With the, uh, with Shopkeeper. But right now, it's time to go to the Home Depot! I've moved twice since the last chapter, good lord. Nope. No shop collab would be complete without the Home Depot. Make sure how much time we got left. Okay, now we're left. I'll be lucky if we get 25, uh, 25 attempts at this. Only really doing this for two hours. Hope y'all didn't, uh, le let's see how y'all bet on the, on, uh, on this prediction here. How are some of you so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed about this that you would that you'd vote yes? It's the same. It's been the exact same ratio. Well, I wouldn't say the exact same. It's 26% yes, 74% no. But it's been really close to the exact same ratio the last three times. 
<laughs> the payout, Tom! God, I could not play a bullet hell game. I tried Ecargo once and just like... Are there like easy modes in Toho and all that? For Japan in four days for five weeks. Any idea on places to visit? Is Raven still in chat? I have never been to Japan. Can't play that one. The Great Days collab got a uh, got um got copyright claimed in the last stream. Raven, what are some good places to go to in Japan? I guess, like, specifically, where are you going? Are you going to Tokyo? Or are you going somewhere else? Kyoto? I guess, like, a lot of places are within a train ride or a train ride away. <laughs> we don't gamble with your money, only with your emotions. Oh. the copy of how gross did it feel to spend that much money well i mean like i consider it an investment you know because if if it's ex if it's this expensive now imagine how much it's going to be in like in a few years when these cartridges become harder to find so, sure the prices might go might like go down sometimes but like the other thing too is that like I, I think back as well to like I bought Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut from John for uh, four hundred dollars. It's worth it's worth three times that amount now. Place I recommend for anyone into retro games is Super Potato and Akihaba uh, Akihabara. Ha Aki, how do you pronounce that? I heard one person pronounce it incorrectly, and it's stuck with me ever since. Akihabara. Bingo. Uh, Walter Walrus, thank you for the tier one sub. You're the same guy who gave me the money on, on YouTube. I appreciate it. Akihabara, okay. Why do I have so much trouble with this? What's the, what's the song name in Xenoblade 3 that's supposed to be the equivalent of, like, Engage the Enemy? Actually has the motif of Engage the Enemy in it. Akihabara. The weight of life. Carrying the weight of life. There we go. Nope. Still have my Mattel Intel in television game console and Atari 800. Atari 800, wow. I'm gonna crank up the volume a little bit. This song is criminally underused. Yeah, it wasn't only used like once or twice in base game and like and once in a climactic moment in uh in um at the end of uh of Redeem the uh Future Redeemed. Twice. Twice in base game, once in future redeemed. What are the odds again of this? One in 8,192. Mm -hmm.
Got a date where you draw the line where you have to force it because of the bank deadline? I'm gonna say the end of January. If I don't get it, I'll RNG it. Go to Japan. I recommend the Hakone Open Air Museum. Very nice place. Really considerate staff too. Lost my wallet there, and they mailed it back to me in the state. Super nice people there. You're gonna keep streaming this every now and then until you get there, or is there a number you refuse to go to? Oh no! I'm pretty much like un unless like it's impossible for me to get the Quagsire all the way up to um to. Out of, out of like the Pokemon bank uh, it, it, uh, until it's impossible for me to get the Quagsire out of generation 7 I'm gonna keep trying at this oh that was a nope anyway well go Quagsire he eepy nope can't have your Pokemon. It's mine now. Oh, yeah. Away with Bank, you're stuck at Gen 5. Yeah, because 6 and 7, are, yep, 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 yep. Forgot about that. I think just for fun, I do want to get the, uh, the certificate from, um, I wonder if it would count from coming from this game. I want to see if I can get the certificate Noras, uh, for having a Pokemon go from Gen 3 to Gen 6. <laughs> After listening to a lot of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, high-quality rips, like it's amazing how much of my uh, of my running uh, how much of my cardio mix is going to be high quality rips. Ooh, yeah! Yeah, I've got Poker Transporter. Yep. So any of the stuff. So here's the thing: if you if you have a uh, Nintendo, I don't know if it's a Nintendo counter or a 3DS. Either way, if you have one of those that is, that have already downloaded the. Uh, that have already downloaded those apps once, you can re-download them up until the date where uh, where the um, the online services go offline. What you can't do is purchase anything new. I understand that items go first anytime. Oh, the Wii Shop channel still allows it? Man. God, I wonder if I have anything that I haven't, like, re-downloaded. Although I did sell my Wii initially to, uh, to buy the Wii U. Zeke von Genbu, bringer of chaos! I think on the day it's gonna go down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. On stream. I'll just brick break the gold duck. Send a message. Revisit original Splatoon. Go back to the old two in the ink days. Maybe I'll play a few Wii U, uh, Wii U games that I've played before. Hey, congratulations on beating Sans. Mm -hmm. 
Two won't be nine this year. Mario Kart 8 turns 10 this year. They're still riding that high. Uh. Nope. Hunter from Cosmic Team is saying, more than one pedal stool! As they should, people are still playing it to this day. I mean, like, uh, to be fair, it went across different versions. Like, I don't think anybody's gone back to play Mario Kart 8 on Wii U. If anybody even still has a Wii U anymore. Those of you who have a Wii U and haven't played it in forever, tell me how it, tell me how much dust your gamepad has. If it's even still out. Targeted it a lot, thank you. <gasps> it's Sab in chat. What was the banger we just listened to? That was... Is that Bringer of Chaos Ultimate? Yeah, Bringer of Chaos oh. Ultimate from Xenoblade 2. And we also learned about saying swipes finger sneezes. That would be a lot. Mr. Ramirez of the Mountain Hermit saying, Tom is feeling full of beans thanks to this song. And Factor of Unknowns, we're gifting a tier one sub to Sab. I'm full of beans! Uh, one of my favorite things about Future Redeem is A's, uh, A's dry but sassy delivery. <laughs> Is a bean a really big bean? A is so good. I love them. The time bean. Yeah, for the time bean. Yeah, exactly. Perfect weather this morning. Wrong. Nope. <laughs> Perfect weather this morning. Nope. I am, I, I am consistently shocked whenever I play Xenoblade 3, how much the voice actress for Glimmer sounds like the voice actress for Pyra and Mithra, but is it Pyra and Mithra's voice actress? Sky Bennett retire from VA work? Possibly? I, I didn't know that.
I still can't get over that, uh, that Zion shares a voice actor with a Starion. So now whenever I hear Zion, I'm gonna hear a sassy bitch, and whenever I hear a Starion, I'm gonna think he wants potatoes! A sassy bitch who wants potatoes. There we go. A starian seems like a potato guy. A starian seems like a blood guy. Mr. Obviously a vampire, but we're bringing him into the party anyway. <laughs> a starian likes a, a specific kind of potato. Blood spuds. Neil Nubon also voices fish in Warframe. Yeah, what are meat juices? What are what are meat juices but blood? So you know what? I, like you know, gravy, potatoes and gravy. You got yourself some blood spuds right there. Nope. Bloods. Potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Are we talking about blood all of a sudden? Because, uh, Astarian. God, I love that part. It goes all quiet. They put a high pass filter over the over the percussion. It's so you can really hear the piano. It's like blurring the background of like a picture you want the, the subject to be in focus of. Then it goes into the violin, then breaks down into the uh, into the, uh, the the key change. Which song is this? New battle with three exclamation points from uh, Xenoblade Chronicles: Future Redeemed. Sell that pitch, getting tired of the pity for anything that eats people. Wait, what? I don't know what I'm pitching. Yeah, let's go with Incoming. I like this song. Voices of fish named Fibonacci. Xeno Gears and Xeno Saga 1 and 2. I need to play those in my spare time at some point. Nope. Shut up, Engineer. I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> so we're going to be playing the Steam version of Pokemon? No, they made a Switch version of it, too. There's a Steam version and a Switch version, uh, and I got the Steam version. That was- I didn't even know there was a Steam version until, uh, until today. When I was asking- well, I was, like, making sure everybody had it downloaded. <laughs> and I learned something new! This is from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, yeah.
Uh, Lavino Feli Vargas with the 100 bits. Thank you very much. I hope I pronounced that right. I think the Steam version was mentioned a while back when the game was coming out. Well. <laughs> you know, it'll be a good comparison to see how well they run uh, at the same, uh, like, you know, in different times. Because I'm, I'm pro let's be real, I'm probably going to pick up the Steam version as well. Get Blueberry's Unifa tr Trainer remix next? Sure. That'd be neat to mod it. Oh, you know what would be neat mods for it? Is like, uh... What is it? Like customizing it so like, I, can't, I guess you wouldn't re really be able to do that because it just changes the face. But like getting different, uh, like, it'd be neat if I could if I could have it so like, I could play as like my, like a, like a little model of my VTuber. <laughs> With the Guilty Gear XX Korean soundtrack. I gotta like, I, I, I have to like, okay. I gotta like make a stand here because otherwise people are gonna be like, um, I, uh, cause people are gonna be like, like asking me like, can we play this song? Can we play this song? Can we play this song? I'll just do the one. I'm gonna try and stick to like a theme here. I appreciate you wanted to like listen to different things while, while we're on here, but like, I can't, I can't be like, I can't like please everybody here. I will do the, uh, uh, so yeah, you know what, I will do the Unova, um... Nope. The Unova Battle, th uh, the Trainer Remix. <sighs> and, um, I'll do part of the Guilty Gear, uh, Guilty Gear XX Korean soundtrack. But that's gonna be it. Trainer Battle... Uh... Indigo Disc. Think this is what you're looking for? All of a sudden, Sandstorm just starts playing. Wait, didn't that guy have a Psyduck? Yeah! Purple Link with the 47 months of tier one saying, uh oh, a Shadow Tom Scream appears. I hope you are well and I hope to see you at MAG next weekend. Yes, I'm going to MAGFest! That's where, that's where my travels are going to take me. To the far reaches of Connecticut, then to National Harbor, Maryland, and who knows where else. I'll vlog it as well. I missed the vlog, but I get it. Yeah, the biggest issue with that was that I was doing the same things Give every day. Cash. Professional soup with the 500 bits saying hello there. First time caller, long time listener to 101.7 The Tom Radio. I'd love to listen to insert song title here. Big fan of the show. Nope.
Is that like an original bit or is that a limb motif of something else in Pokemon? Bum bum ba bum 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 ba bum bum. Actually, it kind of sounds like the uh the uh Harkold Soul Silver Casino uh uh or Game Corner. Lingering rhyme with the 54 months tier one saying, "Speaking of Xenoblade, my family's been joined by two kittens, a great tabby girl uh named Poppy, and a stripy butter boy named Tiggs, short for Tigger." Still doing legit odds? Yep. <laughs> Jet the Gem Journal Thunderbits saying, if you could choose a modern sequel or remake of Gen 5 or a modern sequel of Coliseum and XD with all the Pokemon. I mean, like, Coliseum and XD, we need a massive overhaul to, like, to kind of be up there with uh, with like modern game standards, because if you if you took like a bunch of the bat if you took the bat uh, like all the battles out of uh, Coliseum, this is a really short game. It's made difficult by requiring the two v two strategies as well as the really long attack animations. Game is also heavily made around a sm having a small roster. Yep. This game only has one explosion user, and they don't even have that high of an attack. Please don't wake up. Well, if he wakes up, he's gonna use amnesia. This Quagsire always starts off by using amnesia. Guilty Gear XX Korean soundtrack. You have any like whoever suggested that? Do you have any songs in particular that you're looking for? Not gonna lie, before I realized that was a shiny Quagsar on your YouTube thumbnail, I saw a screaming Kirby with a sniper rifle trained on him. Dizzy or Kai's theme? Let's go with Kai's. Oh, he's awake! Game audio cut BTW? There was... I, I, I never had the game audio on. Please don't use Shadow Rush. Sceptile doesn't get a sleeping move, I don't think. Oh, thank goodness. He's still Dark Descending. When's Grass Whistle? At what level? <laughs> wow, great streamer. Never even turned on game audio. Listen here, you little shit. Damn, man alive, this Quagsire is stubborn. I think this might be the last turn because it's just going to use Shadow uh, Shadow Rush. I don't add to the counter until I, until I see whether or not it's shiny. There it is. Honestly, like, here's the thing. I would prefer a... Depending on, like, like the, what they're going for, for if they were to do a Gen 5 remake, what they would go for. I would prefer a Let's Go version of Gen 5 over what they did with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl.
if they made a Let's Go game of Gen 5, like, I would be satisfied with it because it, it wouldn't be, like, because it wouldn't be a, uh, a, like, because, you know, it would get rid of the possibility that it would be a, uh, uh, like, a brilliant diamond. It'll be, it would be, like, a, an issue, a, a, it would be, it'd be a zero percent chance to be a similar situation with brilliant diamond shining pearl. Jeremy! <laughs> We're getting raided as we hunt for a shiny Quagsire. Playing music, chatting. Probably gonna be doing this for about a half hour or more before we switch over to, uh, to, uh, Dokapunk Kingdom. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. What am I doing? Let me, get, let me get the attacks and I'll get countermeasures up. Spore. Whoop, not that. False swipe. And countermeasures. Is there a reason why they're still like... I, they just left a huge tail on the end of this video. What a guitar riff to come into. Yeah, it's the uh, the Guilty Gear... What have you done?! Uh, Guilty Gear Korean OST. Kai's theme to be specific. What am I gonna switch to, though? Oh... Uh, yeah, I like this song a lot. I forgot what it was called, though. Final Boss Battle of Xenoblade, th of uh, Fusion Redeemed. That's the song I'm looking for. Hello, everybody. Coming from uh, Jeremy's uh, stream. My name is Tom Fox, a variety streamer here on Twitch. Hunting myself a shiny Quagsire in a game where you weren't supposed to get shiny Pokemon. Redeem the future. I've been listening to the wrong one because I heard because I found out there are two versions of it. Yeah, I like finale better than the full version. Honestly, I'll, we'll do the full version. Didn't think it was possible. There is a lot of stipulations with it. The biggest one is that you don't know if it's a, uh, you don't know if it's shiny until you check it in your party. So, like, uh, uh, attempts at this take forever. Nope. Did you just steal that guy's Pokemon? Yep, that was the story of Pokemon Coliseum. There are, there's a, um, a, a criminal syndicate called Cypher is gathering Pokemon and turning them into shadow Pokemon. Pokemon that are stronger but have the doors to their hearts closed. Uh, it is up to the main protagonist, Wes, to use what is known as the Snag Machine to catch the Shadow Pokemon and purify them. And take down the criminal organization of Cypher. What was Jeremy doing? Shadow Purify Pokemon Go. That's where Pokemon Go got the, uh, got the idea for, for Shadow Pokemon. Oh, he's playing Binding of Isaac, and he was playing Risk of Rain. Okay, I've heard good things about Risk of Rain. I'd be proud. My Quagsire was named after you in my Coliseum LP, and it was the one of my best team members. Quagsire is surprisingly good. If you ever seen False Swipe Gaming's video on uh, on um, Quagsire competitively? It's never been in a tier above UU, but keeps finding its way into OU and Uber's matches. Very, very apt comparison to the fact that he's got unaware as his hidden ability. Yeah, Quagsire's viability in Ubers was thanks to Zacian. Clefable also has unaware, but like the issue with that is that it's a fairy type and Zacian could just steal it into, into oblivion. Now Clodzar is here to steal his job. Clodzar has got a litany of a litany more weaknesses than uh, than Quagsire does, though. Quagsire is only weak to grass, even though it's a times four weakness. Is it Clod is Clodzire OU? Well, well, color me impressed. I think Quagsire has finally been outclassed. Honestly, honestly, Water Absorb on Clodzire is still really good too, since it covers one of its weaknesses. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> hunt, uh, to those of you coming in from Jeremy's stream, shiny hunting for Pokemon in generations earlier than uh, five were 
Actually, well, even in Gen 4, you still have the Masuda method, but still. Um, nope. Always full odds, and it was pre-Gen 6 full odds, which was 1 in 8,192. Xenoblade 1 or 3? This is from 3. This is from uh, Future Redeemed. There is hope, though. If I don't get this in the time it takes, you know, if I don't get this in like a, uh, in a... Claude is OU, okay. Um, if I can't get this in the time it takes me to like, you know, because remember the, the 3DS online services are shutting down in Pokemon Bank s sometime after that. Don't know when, but I don't wanna, I wanna treat the 3DS online services going down as the deadline. Um, I may just start RNG manipulating in order to, in order to find this shiny Quagsire. Oh yeah, this isn't just a shiny Quagsire. This is gonna be a Ribbon Master as well. Uh, Ribbon Master is a Pokemon that can grab, that that pretty much like uh, that can get every obtainable ribbon that it can it can get. For Quagsire, that is every single one, uh, every single ribbon in every Pokemon game up through Gen Nine, except for uh, one in Pokemon Legends Arceus. The eShop is down. The online services are still up. In fact, if you bought stuff from the 3DS eShop, you can still download it. Artemis from Jet the Gem Drill saying, every time I hear those odds, my mind automatically says, back in my day, we had to work for those different colored pixels. That's true. Although hatching, um, hatching, a uh, uh, hatching shiny Pokemon in Gen 2 was significantly easier. As opposed to like trying to find them. I didn't even throw the ball. I just switched into my inventory. Hatching eggs in Gen 2 took an eternity, though that's true. Isn't that like 41 ribbons? Not it's like 80 something ribbons. Unless you're condensing the, uh, unless you're condensing the uh, the contest ribbons down to the ones that they end up with uh, in later generations. Uh, is the Dokemon stream the Colosseum stream gold? No, we're just we're we're just gonna switch over to uh, to nope call uh, to Dokapon Kingdom once uh, once we hit 8 p.m. Central Time. So like in 20 minutes. It's counting the ribbons you can buy. Yep, every ribbon, which means I gotta make a lot of money in Pokemon Diamond. It's gonna happen when Home shuts down. Home's not shutting down. Bank is shutting down. I might have said Home by mistake because I get words mixed up all the time. If you are interested in, uh... Let me see if I can do this. I should be able to, it's a public server. There we go. If you are interested in looking into making a, a, a Ribbon Master Pokemon of your own, why Diamond over Platinum? Because, uh, because my di because I actually have a finished save file in Diamond and Platinum, I don't have any save file at all. But if you're interested in uh, in uh, Ribbon Master stuff, uh, I recommend checking out this Discord. Are we just starting story mode for Dokapon and leaving it for another day when the stream ends? No, we're, we're doing a uh, 10 week game. Is there an official date for when bank closes? No, just sometime after the 3DS, uh, the 3DS online services go down. Oh, I think we're coming to the end of uh, Redeem the Future. Aerial Ace, as long as Aerial Ace never qu uh, crits.
Three or four times uh, I've been on the lookout for a Pokemon uh, fan with a specific skill set. Every time the Ribbon Master Discord has had someone with those skills. Hell yeah. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, I've pontificated using the uh, <laughs> dumping my my Emerald ROM and save file. Uh, no, not an obstacle owner. Oh, wait, I saw time to fight by on a shoulder on there. Yeah. I pontificated dumping my, uh, my, uh, emerald cart and save file onto a computer, opening four copies of it and using that to mix berries into Pokeblocks! Ever watch Dogs in Love new? Nope. I do like how uh, Melia was given the spotlight in Future Connected. Effectively, Pokemon Coliseum there. Oh, is that the one from, uh, what the hell's his name? Jello Apocalypse, right? I've heard people talking about that in chat. If you haven't already, play the Xenoblade games. They're so good. The third one is a masterpiece and is very much like, and like, is just like a, like, so many, so many good, so many good, like, like, it's, it's just good. <laughs> Jaden Animations also did a video on Pokemon XD. I remember that too. I see, I've seen that video. I like Jaden's work. Bad I missed out on Xenoblade Chronicles X. It's still there, it's just the load times are gonna take a little while. SilmerWind T with the 75 months of tier one saying good luck. Jed the Gem Journal with 100 bits saying Pokemon competition always makes my mind hurt with how much luck is involved. Also, are we able to listen to Gerudo Valley remix? Uh, uh, if not, Dokapon is gonna burn. Uh, I'm gonna say no to that only because I, I had to make the, stipu the, the stipulation here to like not take viewer requests for uh, videos. Cause otherwise I'd be, I, I'd, they'd be coming out of my ears, the requests. I don't have a Wii U. You know what? Fair. <laughs> Absolutely fair. How hard is Wii U emulation? I mean... As someone who managed to get Breath of the Wild crowd control working on his Wii U. It was hard. It was pretty hard. Nope. That was a fun stream, Breath of the Wild crowd control. There, that one shrine that we ended up going to where you guys kept striking me with lightning before I made it there. Or getting rid of all my stamina, so I just plummet into the sea. And then along came Zeus! They have the company CC Win. I think it's still only available for their, uh, their partners and ambassadors. about Battle Torna? It's one of my favorite, this is one of my favorite songs in Beat Saber. 
modded in. It's not an official song. Tell me what crowd control next TRG Coliseum. I mean, you'll probably get it because you generally get crowd control during TRG Coliseum. What VR do I have? Valve Index. Eh, there have been rumors floating around about a remake for X for like a long time now. Oh! Oh, my foot cramped up. Bingo! You play Jade Cocoon? No. Uh, TNT Raider with the 14 months of tier one saying, Bingo! 14 months! Did they remake X or 2 first? Probably X, considering A, it's older, and B, like, all three Xenoblade games are available on Switch, so I don't think they need to have a reason to remake 2. Ever played Klonoa? No, but I have the um, the physical copy of the remake of the uh, the remasters. Nope. On Switch. Whenever something like that comes out, I always check the uh, the uh, foreign markets to see if uh, if there's like a physical copy of it. That's how I got um, I got the the yeah I got the two Klonoa games on uh, physical copy, and I also got uh, Ultra Kaiju Monster Rancher from uh, as a physical copy from Play Asia. Doesn't stop Naughty Dog from the from making more versions of The Last of Us. Yeah, but here's the thing. Monolith ain't Naughty Dog. <laughs> is Naughty Dog is Naughty Dog owned by Sony? Half-Life 3 confirmed. God. I can see the having like a corporate presence over you to like remake a game for your newer console that isn't really that old being like kind of the norm. I mean like part of the reason Nintendo kept remaking Wii U games is because not and barely anybody owned a Wii U. Can't tell you how many times I've like talked to people who aren't like in the know with, with like with modern Nintendo consoles being like, yeah, I would have played Pikmin 3, but I don't have a Wii U and I don't plan on getting one. Some play said Xenoblade CC. I don't know how that would work. I can barely follow along what's happening. I own a Wii U just for Rhythm Heaven Fever. That's a game I want to try to find at some point. Can't be, can't be cheap. Let's check price charting. Jesus Christ! 175 complete. <coughs> 122 loose. Does Steven have it? Steven has every Wii game. What crowd control would you like to see happen? Uh, Shovel Knight's always been a big one. Nope. Oh, what time is it? Alright, I got five minutes left. Oh, Death Row the Canada would be pretty neat. The only problem is that there's so much downtime between that, I don't know how well the effects would work. Apparently Xenoblade X uh, has not been re-released due to cost constraints because it would be expensive to port it over the Switch, according to the original developer. There's no CC of Mario Kart, at least not Mario Kart 8. I think there's CC for, Mario, for Super Mario Kart, though. 
Dragon Ball Xenoverse with CC. Good lord. Again, it, it's weird in that gar in that regard because a lot of what happens in first off, Xenoverse is like is uh, like almost always online. Smash Bros. CC they have melee. I think it's in I think it's uh, in uh, beta though, which beta stuff is usually reserved for partners and ambassadors. Well, the reason, like, the reason it's tough with, like, some games that are more, like, instance-based, where it's, like, the the bulk of the action is happening, like, or, uh, I'm trying to think. Because you spend a lot, you can spend a lot of time in the overworld in, uh, in Xenoverse. Plus, Xenoverse is also, I think, always online. Or, like, it requires a connection to the server in order to, like, sync up your, uh, your, uh, your stats and everything. How much is Devil's Third going for? I remember I picked that one up for MSRP, and I still have it sealed. Uh, 253 loose. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, we must have crit. Well, that's unfortunate. Is there mother to an earthbound CC? Yes, actually. It also goes along with the randomizer that uh that Chaz made. <laughs> Note to self, do a crowd control stream when you get home because everyone seems to want crowd control right now. Golduck crit. Time to stop hunting because Golduck said no. Uh, okay. Let me catch this and then I'll do one more before switching over to Dokapon. Oh yeah, I also gotta get my VTuber prepared as well for that. Cause this is technically a VTuber collab. Alright, that works. Didn't tell the switch to that, but I like Disco Descent, so... Oh, with the shopkeeper! one how many people in the collab are playing Dokemon for this first time uh myself I think just myself and Haruka I think um I think uh Scribble Rocks and Raven Karasu have both played it before I know Raven's played it before because he told me about it over New Year's and Scribble and, and Scribble Rock said that, that they had played it uh before Question, Xenoverse 2 is on sale right now. Do I buy it and eventually get the DLC or wait for Budokai Tenkaichi 4 to come out? I mean, they're two inherently different games. Budokai Tenkaichi 4 will not have like a custom character. So if you care more about the Dragon Ball character than you do about having your own custom character be a part of the, the story, then wait for, uh, wait for Budokai Tenkaichi 4, or whatever they're calling it. Sparking? It is also a very content-heavy game, yes. I was shocked to learn that they were still, uh, Sparking Zero, that's it. I was shocked to learn that they were still updating Xenoverse. There isn't, like, Moro stuff in there, is there? Or Granola? No, okay. They've just been going by the, uh, okay, they've just been going by, like, the animated stuff. Gotcha, they haven't been going by the manga.
If all the Daima stuff got into Xenoverse in the future, small versions of every character! Marketable plushes! Dragon Ball Super in Xenoverse? Yep. When they initially made Goku Black for Dragon Ball Xenoverse, um, the English voice actor didn't know, like the, the the English side didn't know like what they were supposed to be or anything. So Sean Schemmel just did a very gruff and deep voice for it. Hey, that uh, went well with the end. Oh, you're running out of song. Get to the stairs. The stairs that lead to Dokapon. Yeah, instead of like the uh, the the more posh accent. Nope. Apparently, it's a it's a uh, um a I wouldn't say a, a touchy subject in the uh, in the West, but like I like Masako Nozawa's um uh uh Goku a lot. Like Sean Sean and Masako are good for uh for for different reasons. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of uh, hunting for Quagsire. Still nothing. Gotta pay, gotta pay out the winners of that prediction. The an the the outcome is nope. So if you're watching this as a VOD later on YouTube, uh, I will see you in the next uh, shiny hunting stuff. Later.